Entire swamps are being clear cut and the whole trees from those swamps are being turned into cypress mulch. The Save Our Cypress Coalition has collected extensive evidence that shows that this is happening. It's the same mulch that ends up in the gardening departments of Walmart and Home Depot and Lowe's. You know, we're asking consumers to stop buying cypress mulch and we're asking distributors like Walmart and Home Depot and Lowe's to stop selling cypress mulch. Cutting down cypress forests, literally clear cutting cypress forests to make cypress mulch is like melting down the Liberty Bell to make paper clips. You know, these companies are turning a national treasure into an inherently disposable product. Cypress is the most important tree in this world. You know, it's the deciduous conifers related to the sequoias and the redwoods. You know, animals in the swamp rely very heavily on hollows to survive, many species of birds and mammals. Because cypress grows so old like the sequoias and so big, they provide the biggest hollow trees and the biggest hollows and the most hollows for animals to breed. So they become the most important tree for the ecosystem. In addition to that, cypress trees, the leaves are edible, cypress balls are edible for squirrels. They lose the bark, and you can look at the cypress and see the bark is loose. It's a lot of insects that can move inside the bark, and that provides food for a lot of woodpeckers and other birds. So it's a food producing machine in addition to provide the habitat for the birds and mammals to breed. If they were just going in and taking the trees that had a decent amount of board feed or saw log uh, value, you would still have very much intact forests. The problem is that they're taking everything. They're clear cutting the entire forest and they're putting most of it into mulch, taking a few big trees and turning that into actual board feet and actual timber. But without that mulch market, you wouldn't have the incentive to go out, go in and actually log those forests. Your kids and my kids would never see a swamp. So that's, that's what's going on here in Louisiana today. We can't afford to cut any more cypress down. We need every single one of them out there. We need hundreds of thousands more. Now that we know how important Cypress Tupelo Swamp is for storm surge uh, reduction, it, it seems ridiculous to me that we're still logging these trees and converting them into mulch. You're taking a, a, a resource, it's like paving your driveway with gold. You're taking a resource that is so valuable, of course it'll work as mulch, but so would gold on your driveway. It, it's absolutely ridiculous. ridiculous. What the cypress do is they dissipate the actual wave energy, which proved to be very degradation, or proved to be detrimental to the levees. So a levee, the levees that were overtopped had a wetland buffer, but they didn't actually breach. The levees that did not have a wetland buffer breached during the storm, and it was the breaches that caused the damage to New Orleans. And now it floods for too long and too deep, and the cypress can, you know, even in drought years, the cypress don't, can't breathe anymore. So what you see is what you get. There is no little cypress coming up behind those fellows. And uh, if they cut them down, we lose the cypress trees for, for, for forever. That's one of the arguments that the loggers make, is that the second growth, growth cypress came back 100 years ago, so if we log it, it'll come back again. But what is not true is that the, the, the entire landscape has changed in so many ways. We've dug these huge canals to the Gulf of Mexico that allow saltwater intrusion to occur that didn't used to occur. The, the, um, the uh, sea level rise and subsidence has doubled the rates of flooding in this entire swamp. And so together those two things alone will prohibit any regeneration or any substantial regeneration. So unless we can alter the hydrology back to the, the way it was historically, bring the, the river, the Mississippi River, back into this system to bring nutrients and fresh water and to flush out that salt water, uh, the chances of regenerating on its own, the chances of this swamp regenerating on its own are, are right around zero. This is not fighting the landowners. This is not the best interest of the landowner. I mean, they come here and they cut this here one time. They make a few bucks and this gone forever. Their kids won't have that lumber anymore. I mean, the, 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 their land will be ruined for lumber forever. I don't think that's the best interest for anybody. I think when you own this kind of ecosystem, you cannot manage it for timber in the long term. So the best interest for the landowner will be to be compensated, to keep it where it is. And I think the best interest for us is to compensate them so we don't lose these ecosystems. All these birds need this coastal forest to feed and move on or to breed. And, uh, they're losing them.
In terms of storm surge protection, we really can't let a single cypress or tupelo be logged, and yet they're being logged by the hundreds. So far, thousands of people have sent emails to the CEOs of all three companies asking them to stop selling cypress mulch. Hundreds of people have called in. We had a particular call-in day where we had hundreds of folks throughout the country in the Gulf call the companies. We need Walmart, Home Depot, and Lowe's to stop selling cypress mulch. It's an unnecessary and unsustainable product that's threatening the Gulf Coast.